up folks, J-Rock here and welcome to this week's video. On this episode you will see Ryan Morton's R32 Skyline who comes in for new coilover springs and a full alignment ahead of round 3 of the Irish Amateur Drift Championship this weekend. We get some new garage lighting and heating upgrades which I will be fitting. My S14 gets stripped and ready for the RB25 to be fitted. And Derek Newsom's A86 Corolla has his cage just about finished while we're waiting to do the gearbox tunnel, the V8 engine and gearbox has arrived. Tighten this up until the slap goes out of it. It's missing something there. I'm both of them. Did it really matter? It'll keep it from doing this. You know, if I hear a shit version of a song and I hear the real thing, all that's going through your head is the shit version of it. <laughs> Especially like, if you hear the shit version first. That's, that yeah. is. That is that song, and then someone has made a better version of it. You wouldn't be doing this. You could, you could. Yeah, you, like, if, you know, at an event you could, but like you said, your ride height won't be the exact same. Uh, your line will be off, basically. So. She's doing. Yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, you're lucky, Jim. <laughs> no, she's good. What was the camera like? Um, it was way off this side, obviously, because of the smack. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's good now, it's even this side. What's the front like? The front was off a bit that side, the driver's yeah. side. Yeah. Was your stream a lot? Oh, well, we're going off with that as well. Oh, yes. I'll see you tomorrow, right? I'll see you tomorrow, Bob. Uh, around lunchtime, yeah? Yeah. Cool, man. Alright, I'm on the way.
Today should be a bit more exciting for you. I've stripped the 14, I've taken most of the body panels off and stuff like that, but the engine is still in. I'm in the middle of taking that out at the minute. Let me give you a quick walk around and show you what I have done. So as you can see, the car is quite a bit stripped off it. We have uh, most of the body kit taken off and the front. I started stripping the engine and bits and pieces like that, but I said I'd take a break and show you guys how we're getting on. So here it is just on the stands, nothing really exciting here, you'll see more of that shortly. I just have a couple of bits I picked up for the garage, uh, a couple of lamps because I'm working around the S14 it's a bit dark, um, some cable, and these bad boys are just some uh, rechargeable lights, rechargeable lamps. Pretty handy, uh, you can just sort of position wherever you want, you don't have to worry about cables. The cable is for these big lamps which are going to go up sort of there because we have a lamp right in the corner there another one in the middle of that car one here so it needs sort of one here because this area is always really dark and the other one is actually going to go behind that's a heater um, but this side here can be quite dark when you're working on a car when it's on the ramp usually this area here is very very dark so uh, i'm going to put a lamp on that wall to the left and that should solve that uh, I also got this heater because it is winter and it's damn cold. So this heater here, uh, I've never tried it before, but the old one we had, you may have seen on Snapchat. This thing here, this, it broke. <laughs> After um, a couple of years of service, it's no longer with us. So we'll be throwing that out and we'll be trying out this electric heater. It's not fuel powered. So, you know, it's gonna be a bit of an electricity chewer, but hey. Needs must in uh, cold Ireland. So that'll keep me uh, busy for a few minutes getting all that stuff installed. So I picked up these uh, plugs that basically the, the design to charge USB pieces. So can plug our small USB lead that we got with the lamps into that, that can go into the wall socket. Hey! Well that works. Moment of truth. Alright folks, I'm going to give you a quick update on Derek Newsom's car. The cage is just about finished. The door bars are the last remaining piece of that puzzle. But before we do the door bars, we need to do the gearbox tunnel. Uh, well, fitting a bigger engine and gearbox, obviously you need a bigger gearbox tunnel than the A86 allows. So we need to cut out the original gearbox tunnel, put in the new one, and then once that's done, we can do the door bars, and that's the cage and the interior of the fabrication side of things done, finished. So let me show you what we've done till now. As you can see here at the rear, 
we have a diagonal going from the driver's side top across to the passenger rear with a bar supporting from strut to strut or wheel well to wheel well. This cage is also going out to the front struts to help keep the chassis as rigid as possible especially while fitting a big V8 engine. The car will be getting NASCAR door bars but first we need to do the gearbox tunnel to allow ease of access in and out of the car. Once the gearbox tunnel is done then we can do the NASCAR door bars and that will be the cage completely finished. Here you can see the cage going out to the front struts on the passenger side and on the driver's side. So we have pads here on the strut tower and we'll have a main bar going from here down to the chassis leg. Same on the passenger side. This is the big V8 LS1 lump which we'll be fitting. <laughs> Right folks, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, a like and a share. And as always, keep an eye on all my social media, especially Snapchat, for the behind the scenes stuff that doesn't make Instagram or Facebook or these videos. Until next time, keep it real. As you can see, it's just a, as you can see, it's just a, as you can see, it's just an IDC spec. I'm gonna turn you back on. You are fucking just went to the sky. Oh, I went to the sky. Now I'm fucking blind. I in all my social media, especially Snapchat, for the behind the scenes stuff that doesn't make Instagram and Facebook or these videos. Keep it real. Ah, Jesus. <laughs>